Hello, folks. I have been owning this stuff for many years since my girl was a child. Uh, for 10 years or so. It's Nikon field microscope. It has a built-in uh, lighting system in there. But it is not very good, as you see. Mm, I hope you can see it. Like this. Dark hole and wing illumination. No good. Oh, you can remove this plate to observe outdoor many things and in there it has a cap you can put water and small um, creatures in there like this anyway it is a discontinued stuff so I quite often stay out home. I always need this kind of binocular microscope to observe the knife edge. So I purchased this one maybe uh, three, four years ago. It is still available. It's Nikon field microscope mini. It doesn't have a built-in uh, lighting system, but I have a very good one, this one. Zebra Light uh, H31 Frosty I. I means high CRI. Oh, I loosened the cap for safety. It loosening prevents uh, unintended uh, activation. So, it's bright. Three steps, very useful. Middle will be good. And uh, it also has two objective lenses, so we can observe um, things with two, two my eyes, two our eyes. I mean, we can observe three dimensionally. Yes, it's a real binocular uh, microscope. And Nikon optical performance is superb. So I use this one like this lamp here onto the case, clip onto the case, and I can change the angle like this. I'm sorry, like this. This uh, clip moves. So I can change the illumination angle just good like this. So this pair is highly recommended. And now Zebra Wright makes a better one. Model H502 uh, CRI, which doesn't have a frosty lens, but very shallow mounted bare LED, so total floody illumination. And amazingly, it generates the same power as this one with uh, a single AAA battery. It is uh, CR123, so I think 502 is a better one, much innovative one. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye-bye.